Hey everyone, welcome to another paint porn video. In today's video, I am using my usual suspects, my uh, Lazy Susan, a tray for a ribbon, and camo pigments. Um, before we get into the painting, I just want to gripe a little bit about this weird construction holiday that Montreal has. It's in the middle of the summer, and they give like all the construction workers a two-week vacation, and for some reason, the entire city pretty much shuts down along with it. Um, the two stores where I buy my frames and my canvas are actually closed for two weeks. So I had to reuse a frame and a canvas of a painting that I wasn't super thrilled with. So there you go. Montreal has a weird two-week holiday thing that I was unprepared for. So initially, I was super happy with the start of this painting. I got some uh, really cool flicks in, and um, the way that I played around with the paint um, it made some really interesting effects that I really enjoyed a lot. Um, even when I kind of moved the paint around, I lifted up the canvas and let it slide a little bit. And um, even when I spun it, when I spin it, I tend to lose a lot of the effects that I really enjoy. But when I spun it this time, uh, it just made it really kind of dramatic looking. And um, immediately I felt the pressure to <laughs> get a good ribbon on there. Um, you can see it throughout uh, the pre-ribbon stage, I do a lot of practice sweeps with my hand. Um, just because I, I really wanted to preserve uh, the cells. So like I didn't uh, spin it while I was doing the ribbon or anything because I really wanted to avoid uh, certain parts of the initial little stage of it. But I think ultimately in the end, uh, that was my downfall because I was really unhappy with uh, the composition of the painting. Like, I was happy to begin with with the first initial playing around with the paint, and the, the ribbon by itself is also pretty cool. But for some reason, the two of them together, um, it just, it really didn't appeal to my sense of composition. There was something wrong with it. Um, it really bothered me. I went away from this painting for about 45 minutes and sat about, and thought about it, whether or not I really wanted to keep it. And in the end, I decided that I really couldn't deal with what it looked like. So, unfortunately, I scraped the whole thing off and tried again. Um, and the, it's so hot in Montreal right now, um, the paint actually started to cure a little bit. So, um, it was hard to scrape off. So for the second go around, I went in a completely different direction. Um, I was tired of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, so I just made a big rainbow puddle in the middle of the canvas and kind of gave it a swipe with a stick that I found lying around and gave it a spin. And almost immediately this butterfly wing emerged. Um, usually I'm not really into making really distinctive shapes. But, I mean, this one was just so clearly a butterfly wing, I just had to keep on kind of going with it. Um, so, uh, the ribbon I decided it was going to be the body of the butterfly, and I, it was relatively easy to do, which was nice. I mean, I was so glad that I didn't mess up the painting with the ribbon this time around. Um, and I mean, I didn't even really have to spin it afterwards. I just kind of I gave it a spin to make sure that the paint was thin enough so it didn't dry badly. And the spin kind of gave uh, the ribbon a couple of little knobs on the top, which I was able to turn into the antennas for the butterfly. So yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with this painting. I mean, it, this is like the second painting that I've ever done where there's been a really distinctive um, shape. Um, and I'm actually not that upset about it. I mean, I, I think that it looks pretty cool and it's uh, kind of refreshingly different from the other ones that I've been doing. So I'm pretty stoked about this particular painting. So in the close-up, you can see that there isn't really a lot of cells going on, uh, but I think that uh, the overall composition kind of makes up for that fact. 
Um, that's about it. I hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.